Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Diana. Today, we are talking about one day when we can comfort others. Grief is a journey we experience when we experience a loss of various kinds. And today's verse is going to offer us hope that the journey of grief is not useless, that in fact, it holds a valuable encounter that will serve us well later. But first, listen to the description of God that we can hold on to that's found in the first part of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Here's what verse 3 says. It says, Praise be to, to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. Did you hear that? God is described as the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort that. Picture that. God is the best at compassion and comfort. God is in fact the source of compassion and comfort and God is perfect at expressing compassion and comfort. It's who he is. Now with this description of who God is in mind, let's go on to listen to verse four. Here's what it says. It says, God who is the father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort that we, we ourselves have received from God. So in the time of comfort that you receive, that comfort you receive in the midst of your trouble, it will be a powerful comfort that you can offer to others who later will find themselves in a similar type of situation. I don't know about you, but that brings such hope and promise in this verse. It's telling us that you are gonna receive this comfort from God that is valuable, it is good, it is helpful, and that this good, valuable, helpful comfort will in time be this powerful, good, helpful gift that you can extend to someone else. It brings purpose to our pain. It allows us to do something with what we've learned. So to those of you who are currently walking through grief, take heart. Your grief journey, it is valuable. And in time, in time, your experience of the compassion and comfort of God that you've received, it will be so real, so good, so helpful that you will eventually come along someone else. And in the future, you will be able to say to them too, there is hope ahead. And also I wanna to speak to those of you today who uh, you're not currently in a season of grief. I wanna ask you a question. Have you received the comfort of Jesus in a time of trouble in the past? Has the compassion and comfort of God met you in your trouble? So if so, how might you comfort someone else today? Could you ask God to bring someone to mind um, who may be in a season of trouble that you've been in? Is there a friend that's navigating the grief of launching their youngest child out of the home and you know what that's like? Or is there someone who their children are getting married and it's the first one and they're experiencing that? Do you know somebody who's navigating the loss of a dream, the loss of a relationship, the loss of a job, or the loss of a friendship like you have? What comfort did God provide you that you could now echo to other people? Let's use the pain and the comfort that we have journeyed through and use that to serve others today. We'll see you next time.